Hey guys, welcome to the part 7 of this simple to do application. In this one, we are going to add validation to title because it is a required field and then add functionality to both these buttons. For that, we have to give each and every field a V model and what will V model do is it will take in whatever we type in the field and store it and then we can use the data to make post call to the backend. So let's go ahead and start by adding first of all data. Here we can directly uh, give the field names like title, then description because these are text fields so I'm doing like this is complete. This is a boolean field so I'm giving it a false value. If you notice carefully over here I'm giving the same name as that we have created in the backend. Here what we can do is we can directly uh, use these fields like this or we can club them together by creating an object. So I will say new to do and inside this I'll move all these new variables. And then we, all, we are also going to give title some rules. So let me do that. It will be title rules. And this will be a list because I want two rules. This will have a value. So that's why I'm giving it as V. And let's say if there is no value present that I want to show error that is title is required. This is one error. And then second one is we are again going to take in the value. And this will be if value is present and and value dot length this should be less than equal to 64 character because that's what our backend accepts if it is not that then it should throw an error that is title must be less than 64 characters this was the second error that we are going to show and then I made an assumption that always uh, the user will be the first user that, that is the admin that we have created. In future what we can do is create login for each and every user and then replace this value with user's id. So for now we are going to use user as one. Now that we have created all this let's go ahead and assign these to the fields. So we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, for the title, v dash model is new to do dot title. And then uh, for the title, we have also created some rules, right? So we'll give the rules as well. This also comes from new to do dot title rules. Then for the text area, that is description, we have v model as new to do let me paste it and description for the checkbox we will use v model of new to do dot is complete so now that we have assigned uh, v models for each and every field we can do the clear functionality and add so let's go ahead and do that so on click of reset, we'll call of method reset and I will create this very shortly and on click of add, I'm going to call add method and the add button should be disabled until we don't enter something in the title. So it will be disabled and if not new to do dot title. And let's go ahead and start by writing first of all reset functionality. For that we'll go in the methods and I'll add reset. Uh, this will be this dot refs dot form dot reset. So let me explain uh, you what I just did over here. This ref refers to the form and it will reset it. What does this mean? 
so if you see over here i have given a form a ref value of form so that's why i'm accessing form over here so ref dot form then we'll add add functionality so let's go ahead and do that in this we are going to create a new data variable and it will be this dot new to do whatever this new to do has it will be copied to data variable and now i'm going to do access dot post i'm going to give the url that is this url and i want to pass in some data right so this is the data that i want to pass and then we will have some response and this will be let me put it in the braces we are just going to console log it and check it out and since we have added a new record in the back end so maybe we should call this get to do so that it refreshes the entire list yes that's what i think of so we'll do that and there we go add functionality is also done now what I'm thinking is we are repeating this URL twice and what if we have to change something in the URL it will be hectic. So because of that I'm just going to create uh, another data variable and this will be called as URL. That's the only URL we are accessing on this and I'll cut paste it over here. Actually you know what we'll replace this IP by localhost right now. Both of them are same, nothing different. And uh, yes, this to do requires URL and that will come from this dot URL. And here as well, it will be this dot URL. Now that our front end code is ready, let's run the backend server and test it out. I'm going to navigate inside backend and I'm going to run. Before that, I have to activate my environment, so source because it is one directory above uh, env slash bin slash activate and I'm going to run python manage.py run server and let's check it out first of all I'm going to refresh the page and check yes we have our list coming that means our backend is running and yes there we go we get our error as well uh, so why not inspect and let's check form submission so complete the video recording finish the video recording is the task complete no i'm still recording the video so it is not yet complete let's click on add and see what happens there we go there were two calls made to the back end if you check in the network tab first was post request and it gave us status of 200 and one that is created and this was the payload that i sent in the data this title rules are not required so it doesn't matter and these are the data that we sent and we get a preview uh, we get a response of this and in the uh, and then we uh, if you check the code after adding we call get to do's that will get the entire list of to do's so that is the second call made get to this url and it returned with two records so that's what we have list here so this is it guys for this video in the next one we are going to update the records and in update we are going to use this checkbox to mark the task is complete or not see you in the next one